Welcome to the Windows channel and this is a uh, creator's update feature highlight, the uh, dynamic lock in Windows 10 and I'll explain a little bit how it works. So what is dynamic lock? So first of all you find dynamic lock in your settings and to accounts and when you're in, in accounts you got the sign in options and here below you've got something called dynamic lock. And now notice I've got the check mark that says hello Windows to detect when you're away and automatically lock the device. So to do that, it uses a Bluetooth device of some sort. In my case, it's my Galaxy S7 phone that I paired with Bluetooth. But it's one of those features that Although I could see that it's interesting, it's really badly designed. So, okay, you turn this on and there's no indications of nothing except a learn more button that brings you on the web to some page. So here how it works, okay? First, you need Bluetooth on your laptop. So for example, I did not have Bluetooth on this device. What I did is buy a little Bluetooth dongle on eBay for like four or five dollars and added Bluetooth to my laptop using a USB dongle. So basically that's pretty much what happens. S once your Bluetooth is working, the first thing that you need to do when you actually have your device is set it up. That's also something that's not very clear. So here you see Samsung Galaxy S7 connected and paired. So that means I've of course made all the uh, you know device and turned on Bluetooth made sure that you know it was uh, I, I clicked add Bluetooth or other device. It paired with my phone. They are now matching together. So that becomes my dynamic lock device. As you see not very clear from Microsoft what exactly to do for dynamic lock. So Please understand that. You got to pair your device using Bluetooth first. And once that is done, you go into the setting and turn on dynamic lock. But the problem with dynamic lock is it doesn't say anything. So, you know, you go into accounts, you go into sign in options, you put that check mark of dynamic lock, and the first thing that you kind of get is okay, I've got dynamic lock here. Uh, what the hell do I do next? Is it automatic? Is it, you know, and there's no settings. Why aren't there any settings? I mean, why can't it see, uh, tell me, for example, oh, after that uh, you lose contact with your device, you will have, uh, you know, you choose the number of seconds or minutes for your computer to lock. Uh, why does it offer me, you know, it can measure the uh, strength of the Bluetooth signal. Why doesn't it offer me uh, when, you know, the signal goes below this or that lock your screen after, ten, you know, uh, several seconds? And that's the biggest problem with dynamic lock. No information and no way of really knowing much. But it does work because what I did is, okay, uh, you know, it's supposed to do it after 30 seconds. Then again, you don't know. Uh, <laughs> I just turned off Bluetooth on my phone. And yes, after 30 seconds, my Windows 10 device, my computer, went automatically to the lock screen. So, you know, it works. But then again, also, because of the fact that Bluetooth can actually travel much farther than you think, you might be far away, but not far enough for Bluetooth not to work, and your computer still stays on. And the only real usage that I see with dynamic clock right now is either if you really go away somewhere else, then you will lose Bluetooth and your lock screen will show up after 30 seconds, or you know what, just turn off Bluetooth on your device when you want dynamic lock to appear. So. Basically, I'd say that the only way I can see a very useful or, or a useful way to use this is turn on Bluetooth on my Samsung Galaxy S7 when I want to use my computer. Turn it off if I want it to automatically, automatically go to the lock screen. 
So I'm not sure of the usefulness of this, although I could see that it might. But the problem is it's really bad. I mean, come on, there's no explanations, there's no nothing. How the hell does somebody have, you know, it, it turns out, the, the person turns on dynamic lock. How the hell does the person know, oh, you got to pair a phone first? Really, this is stupid. And you know what? When I turn on dynamic lock here, I would have loved that there's a little box that shows up and says, oh, what device do you want to use for the dynamic lock functionality? You know, you could use a lot of stuff. I could uh, maybe use a Bluetooth keyboard if I want, and when I switch it off, hey, the uh, lock screen appears, stuff like that. So clearly a very incomplete um, thing here for this dynamic lock and um, very limited usefulness. But, you know, it works, but it's bizarre. That's all I got to say. But it works. Um, you know, I've switched off Bluetooth three or four times. Every time after 30 seconds, my uh, computer just got to the lock screen. So, yeah, it does work. It just is very awkward to use. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. And hope you enjoy our videos.